Well, this goes uh, way back to um, 2019, uh, and it was before the big uh, ballyhoo with the pandemic. And uh, we were uh, talking about, actually, uh, with uh, Len Kabasinski, who I admire very much as a director, producer, and of course his talents as a martial artist. Uh, the fact that we were going to maybe do a rock and roll nightmare movie. Uh, Jesse D'Angelo, who is uh, John Fasano's son, uh, he connected me with Len. <clears throat> and so Len said he was developing a script. Uh, his plan was to get Leo Fong, who I admire very much. Leo Fong, of course, goes back to the Bruce Lee era. A tremendous, tremendous... Uh, uh, talent and uh, inspiration and <clears throat> I said sure I'd love to be involved with this I can uh, get some music together and uh, hey let, let's let's do it you know if uh, <clears throat> let, if we uh, could do rock and roll nightmare uh, like a remake and then maybe also do this new project you had that would be great anyhow it turned out that we didn't do the uh, remake of rock and roll nightmare However, however, we uh, got involved with the uh, Pact of Vengeance project uh, very heavily. And, I, and uh, uh, Len was writing the script and he was sending me some ideas about my character, uh, John Pierce. Of course, you know, Many of the movies I've been involved with, The Zombie Nightmare, Recruits, uh, Rock and Roll Nightmare, uh, you know, uh, Murder at the Presidio, and on and on. Uh, I've, I've written a title track, or I've appeared in a movie, and, and uh, you know, also write, wrote the soundtrack. So... I'm really into doing that kind of stuff. So, uh, so the uh, ideas started developing for uh, songs like uh, Bounty Hunter, for example, which a great friend of mine, who just got married, by the way, to uh, Sarah Robinson in Los Angeles, California. <clears throat> uh, I've written a lot of projects with him, uh, Thor Against the World, and we were involved in Metal Avenger. Anyhow, re I reached out to him and uh, said, hey, can we develop a, a, a song? It was Bounty Hunter. Then another unbelievable uh, artist, uh, Kevin Stewart Swain, who's, who's a tremendous live performer and is, a, is just a, really a rock star and also a great writer. Uh, I said, Kevin, hey, can we do a song about fighting and battling? You know, and, and then uh, we came up, uh, <laughs> we'll fight forever. Uh, let's just keep fighting, you know, <laughs> you know, and, and so that was another uh, song that uh, uh, we put into development, and it worked really well in the movie. I thought it worked really well, well, and uh, also ca a video came out of it. Uh, and then, of course, the title track uh, I did with uh, Ted Jedlicki, uh, who was, toured with us and was in the band Thor, and uh, did many projects uh, with Ted, and that, uh, and the title track, of course, was called Pact of Vengeance, and I think it's a, a really uh, powerful tune and uh, works well with the movie. Yes, of course, uh, the world came to a standstill the day the earth stood still. Uh, in early 2020, I was on tour, going strong, promoting my my album uh, uh, Rising at that time, and uh, suddenly we had to end the tour uh, because of of this craze. It was uh, you know 
like the blob or something. Something was attacking Earth, and <clears throat> it ended up being this pandemic. Uh, and and people were lo uh, eventually in lockdown. You couldn't do anything. The whole U.S. and Canadian border, which was open for hundreds of years, even in 9/11, it still was open. Maybe it closed for one day or whatever, but it closed down. Couldn't get across. No one, no one could cross that border. So we were in a quite a uh, quandary there uh, when we were trying to do some filming. It still lasted right into 2021 when we wanted to do filming. So uh, <clears throat> you know, I was supposed to go to um, to Pennsylvania to film with Len and get all my sh my shots and he had all the locations there uh, for John P Pierce my character and I said hey Len you know why why don't we uh, do location shots you know you're gonna go to Los Angeles because uh, I do know that Leo wasn't going to be able to go to Pennsylvania to shoot his shots and Lennon was going to go to Los Angeles to shoot those uh, uh, parts. So what I did was discuss this with Len and Len thought it was a great idea. There were some complications. We needed a crew in British Columbia to film the parts that would be put into the movie. And why couldn't we do this? Hey, you know, we were in the world of Dropbox and, you know, you send it files and <laughs> everything else. So uh, we're in the digital world. We could do this. We can make this happen. And it's been done before. Why can't we do it and expand on it? So who did I contact? Kevin Stewart Swain. I said, Kevin, you know, we got this movie here. You know, I know we were talking about the music. Well... Instead of me going to Pennsylvania, can we get a crew together here in uh, British Columbia to shoot these parts? And, uh, <clears throat> and then they can be melded into the movie. You know, Len can get it all edited in there. It'll all work well. Somehow we can synchronize everything. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, Kevin said, why not? Let's do it. You know, he was always open. To doing uh, things that are out of the box. So uh, uh, he uh, knew Scott Young. Scott Young has a studio, Alchemy Sound. And then uh, he knew a guy, Jack Sayo, right? So we needed a, a guy who was a top notch uh, principal photographer, uh, director of photography. So uh, we got him, and he had all the equipment that was necessary that Len needed. And then um, you know, of course, we worked well together getting props that matched props over in Pennsylvania, and Kevin worked really hard on that. Right, Kevin? So, <laughs> yeah, we were out there in, in, in uh, Kevin's yard, you know, and Kevin was uh, spraying the, the props uh, black, you know, all. and it looked great in the movie. It was like great stuff. So, Anyhow, long story short, we were able to, and of course, uh, uh, we, we, we got a location, a tremendous location, and uh, um, it, it was just, uh, it worked out really, really great. And, uh, and, and our great friend uh, out there in uh, Maple Ridge, Norm. Norm McEwen, I mean, Norm McEwen and his beautiful uh, wife, Tracy, how lucky we were that they uh, opened it up where we could use their beautiful and amazing location in Maple Ridge. And we were also, also, we did a, a concert <laughs> there. Uh, he, he also puts uh, neighborhood concerts on. We did this crazy wild concert that included Frank Soda and everybody. And uh, all the neighbors came and it, it we had some really wild cars, you know, it, it was amazing, it was, it was really uh, incredible and it worked out really good. We also used this location for John Pierce uh, headquarters here, 
you know, so he was able to contact Leo Fong and everybody over there in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and uh, it was really great. Uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's going to do really well. My thanks to Len Kapusinski and and to everybody, uh, you know, for, for working hard on this movie. To, and uh, away we go. Yes. Rock and roll. I think we have a really uh, outstanding web presence uh, with Thor. You can go to johnmichaelthor.com uh, and it connects you over to thorcentral.com. Uh, you get a lot of updated news. There's uh, the John Michael Thor Facebook. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you just have to Google Thor uh, Rock Warrior or John Michael uh, Thor or go to YouTube. Uh, we're all over the place. Um, uh, and then also, of course, Cleopatra Records. Cleopatra Records uh, has uh, a, a lot of product. Uh, if you want to go to CleopatraRecords.com, you can click on Thor and <clears throat> you'll get uh, hooked up with uh, uh, all kinds of albums that are out there. There's <clears throat> Alliance, uh, which Kevin Stewart Swain co-produced with me on. There's uh, Rising, another one of you know, Hammer of Justice, uh, Beyond the Pain Barrier, and one of our biggest albums, Only the Strong, which has done really big uh, in my life, uh, is on there, and as, as well as Keep the Dogs Away, and, and many, many, many more, Unchained and Recruits, and goes on and on and on. So, you want to know about Thor? We're up, we're on there. But just put in there, John Michael Thor, Thor Rock Warrior, Thor Metal Avenger, and we'll see you up there. Thank you.